So then, Porsche, a company with a long and illustrious history of making fast, exotic, desirable sports cars. And not much else, really. There's no point when you're one of the world's favourite manufacturers. But now then, what's this? It looks like somebody at Porsche is a bit of a risk taker. I know, let's make something really big and ugly, put a whacking great big engine in it and a Porsche badge on the front and see if it sells. The result is this, the KM, and in particular, the KM Turbo. Now, when I said big, I wasn't exaggerating. It weighs 2.4 tonnes. Thankfully, they remembered to put a thumping great big engine in there too, a 4.5-litre twin-turboed V8, to be precise, developing truly Herculean amounts of torque. 457 pounds per foot at just over tick-over is enough to power the KN to 60 in 5.6 seconds and keep going through the six-speed Tektronik gearbox all the way to 165 miles per hour. All this in a Porsche that can tow a horse box through a field. The big problem with the KN is why? If you want something big that can go off-road, buy a Range Rover. If you want something big and fast, buy an Audi RS6. If you want something big and ugly, buy a Volvo. And if you want something big and prestigious, buy a BMW X5. Now, to dismiss it as ugly is to maybe do it a disservice. It's clearly a Porsche from the front and it will gain admirers. You could argue that Porsche haven't got 30 years of off-road heritage to draw upon, like the designers of the new Range Rover, but BMW did a pretty good job with their first effort, the X5, so that's no excuse. What you do get with the KN is toys and plenty of them. Of course, you get electric everything and climate control, but you also get a nice Tiptronic Auto Box, adjustable air suspension that drops the ride height at various speeds, and a fit and finish that feels like a proper Porsche. Having said that, you are paying 68 grand for this car, which is a full 14,000 more than an X5 4.6 IS, and nearly 10,000 more than a Range Rover Vogue, so you'd expect some luxuries. Porsche promised that the KN offers a seductive combination of world-beating performance, thrilling handling and family-swallowing practicality that will ensure it sells. If all that's true, they've got a point. If not, that risk-taker I mentioned earlier will be living a bit more safely in future.